Elanix is a company that uses progenitor cell technologies to accelerate the body's natural healing abilities. The challenge will be to develop this working technology into a commercial product so that we can steer it through the regulatory approval, upscale it and bring it to the markets worldwide and this is my primary mission. I've been working for over 15 years on the crossover of medical devices and biotechnology and that's why I see myself fit to bring or to fulfilling this challenge. Alanix will be bringing medical devices to the wound care market and that can help people on a large scale and we aim to have a serious impact on wound healing. So for example, you have about 25 million diabetic patients worldwide and if left untreated, these wounds often lead to amputations. This is a huge driver and a very serious issue for us. Presently, I don't know that there is any single product available that actually solves this problem and the biology behind our technology, I believe, can do this. One of the exciting things about a startup like Elanix is the small size of the team versus the enormity of the challenges we are encountering and will be encountering. If there's a problem, everybody has to chip in and we have to achieve our collective goals together. So my role as a manager here is to predicate on building the trust and the synergy of the team because everybody has to feel personally invested in the company and this can only happen really when the environment recognizes the individual's talents, values and a variety of individual contributions available to us. So aside from our product development, we will make it a priority to communicate about what we do so that everybody understands the progress we are making and also what our visions are and how we are achieving it. There is so much more we can do with our progenitor cell technology, so consider it a platform on which we can build products. And this means that there are many opportunities for the future we want Elanix to become a key player in the cell-based regenerative medicine domain and we want to take steps collectively with our team to make this happen.